is lesson 9.6. There are digital clocks that show time as numbers. This is 2 o'clock. There are analog clocks that show time with hands. There are two hands. The short hand shows the hours. The long hand shows the minutes. Here we have the short hand showing the hours and the long hand showing the minutes. This is 2 o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the 2. The minute hand is pointing to the 12. So it's 2 o'clock. So the front of the clock is called its face. And the short hand is the hour hand. The long hand is the minute hand. And on a digital clock, the hours are on the left side and the minutes are on the right side. This is analog and that's digital. Each number on an analog clock is an hour. When the hour hand moves to the next number, one hour has gone by. It's almost like a number line. All the numbers are in order and it goes to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And each of these hours would be o'clock. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and so on. In between each number is one hour. This clock is showing 1 o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the 1. When it moves to the next hour, it's 2 o'clock. It moves to the next number, just like it did on the number line. We can tell time by looking at the hour hand. The hour hand points to the hour o'clock. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And the hands on a clock move clockwise. They go around in this direction. That's called clockwise. The hour hand points to 5. It is 5 o'clock. We say 5 o'clock. We can also write 5 o'clock as a 5 for the hours pointing to the 5 with a colon that's two little dots and a zero zero. That would have been the minutes but we're just using the hour hand. We're not using the minute hand. We write 5 o'clock. The hour hand points to 6. It is 6 o'clock. We say 6 o'clock. We can write 6 o'clock as a 6 with the little colon with zero, zero. Six o'clock. Tim ate dinner at seven o'clock. Draw the hour hand to show seven o'clock, write the time. So we need to draw seven o'clock on this blank clock, on the clock face. To make 7 o'clock, we need to draw the hour hand pointing to the 7. We start from the center point here, and we remember that the hour hand is short. So we only come a little bit of the way, like that, and it points to the 7. We can write the time, 7 o'clock. We write a 7, the two dots, and a 0, 0. 7 o'clock. Look at this hour hand. What time is it showing? What is the time? The hour hand is pointing to the 10. Which one of these would be the correct answer? So we can fill in the answer bubble. If you said this one, 10 o'clock, you're right. It's pointing to the 10. So we would fill in this one. It's pointing to 10 o'clock. Now I have a very big teaching tool 
clock. Look at this one. Let me stand back so you can see it. This is the minute hand, and that's the short hour hand. And it goes clockwise around like that. And as the minute hand moves, it moves the hour hand. As this minute hand moves, you'll see the hour hand moving. See that? As I turn this minute hand around, look at that. Every time the minute hand goes around one time, the hour hand moves to a new number. Each time the minute hand goes around, the hour hand moves to the next number. The minute hand makes the hour hand move. They're connected with gears. It's showing three o'clock. If this minute hand goes around one full time to the 12 again, watch what the hour hand is gonna do. As this goes back up to the 12, now the hour hand is pointing to the four. And if I did it again, the hour hand would point to the five. And if I did it again, the hour hand would point to the six. So each time this minute hand goes around, the hour hand moves to the next number. Write the correct time. Do you know what time this clock is showing? The hour hand is pointing to the three. It must be three o'clock. We write three o'clock. What time is this clock showing? The hour hand is pointing to the four. It must be four o'clock. Whoops. There we go. I made a mess with my zero, didn't I? What is this clock showing for time? The hour hand is pointing to the 11. Do you know? It's 11 o'clock. What's the correct time on this clock? The hour hand is pointing to the 12. If you said 12 o'clock, you're right. The next hour that it would point to, going clockwise, would be the one, and it would start all over again, going around to each hour. Now, for more detailed lessons about time, if you want to learn about half past and half as half hours or quarter past, quarter to, and about minutes and seconds, you can go to my grade two math videos from chapter seven and they're very detailed lessons about telling time. This is first grade math. We're only going to get into hours and half hours. Our next lesson is time to the half hour, lesson 9.7. So there'll be links in this video's description for the grade two math chapter seven videos about how to tell time. We even talk about how to tell time to the minute and we talk about second hands in the grade two math videos. So if that would help you, then you can click on those and watch those. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next video. Bye.